fresh hour. We want to thank God for his goodness, for his mercies, for his love and his protection over us. By the special grace of God, we thank God today is the grand finale of our women convention. And by the grace of God, I want to be speaking on what I title this hour, the woman who contacts heaven. The woman who contacts heaven. Let somebody say that. The woman who contacts heaven. Again. The woman who Which contacts, contacts heaven. heaven. And by the grace of God, very quickly, we shall be taking our Bible test from Esther chapter 4. We shall be quickly looking at from verse number 16 and 17. Stand to your feet very quickly to Esther chapter 4 from verse number 16 through 17. And I'll read. Go! Gather together all the Jews that are present in Shusham and fast ye for me and neither eat nor drink three days night or day I also and my maidens we fast likewise and so will I go in unto the king which is not according to the law if I perish I perish 17 so Mordecai went his way and did according to all that Esther have commanded him take your seat God bless you the woman who contacts heaven ladies and gentlemen I'd like you to understand and listen very carefully Esther was a Jewish girl who rose to queenship in Persia. When the lives of her people was threatened, Esther's first plan of action was to fast and pray. Through prayer, God gave her victory and God's people were rescued from what would have been a sure holocaust a sure holocaust a sure destruction i want you to listen and listen very well there are a lot of women in the bible that contacted heaven when they were faced with challenges some we have faced with marital problem, some issue of barrenness, some difficulties, and what have you. But thank God for where we just read. Esther was one of them who contacted heaven when she discovered that her people, the lives of her people, we are being threatened by that wicked man. And today, by the grace of God, as woman who is of an asset, there are things you must know that to be a woman of an asset there are so many things you need to equip yourself with when you are faced with challenges when you are faced with hardship hannah was one of them when she was ravaged with infertility infertility is not an easy situation to deal with when others know especially a bad it they make things more worse for you as a matter of fact some people even use that problem 
to make mockery of you. They use it as ammunition against you. Matter goes from bad to worse. Another woman who contacted heaven was Haggai. The mother of Ishmael. The wife of Abraham. We are told in the scriptures how when the child was dying no food there was hunger all that Abraham gave her was just a little bottle of water and a little bread and you all know what happened everything got exhausted and the child was beginning to cry and she had nothing to give to the child she placed the child by the stumps of the wool and she said I will not behold the death of my son so she beginning to cry unto God and while she was praying the child was crying and the Bible says God heard her prayer and God heard the cry of that little boy and an angel was dispersed from heaven to make divine provision. Dorcas was another woman who contacted heaven with her arms giving. She makes so much sacrifice in the lives of the women, children, and people around her. Another woman who also contacted heaven was Mary of Bethany the woman who took in the alabaster balls to anoint the feet of Jesus Christ I'm only preparing your mind before we begin to explore what we have because a lot of you don't know what to do when challenges come and that is the reason why what is happening around many of you cannot fight too solutions you can't provide solutions to the problem in your home but today i pray god will give you and open your eyes open your inner eye for you to be able to understand the misery and themes of condition on how to contact heaven when you are faced with so much challenges let somebody shout hallelujah hallelujah the woman who contacts heaven is a game changer. She changes situations. When she's married into a family, even if every member of that family were experiencing yearly death, but the moment she steps in, she puts an end. She is a game changer. When she's married to a man and the man is not making it, it becomes a concern, an assignment on her to deal with so that there will be prosperity in that family. And I want to pray for somebody this hour. If you know how to contact heaven, if you know how to network heaven, when you are faced with challenges, heaven will never deny you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I say heaven will never deny you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Every woman should know that what make you who you are is your addiction to God. Without God in the life of a woman, she is a nobody without God a woman who contact heaven must be addicted to prayer it is not like mass network you know sometimes when you call mass network they will tell you it's not available sometimes they tell you it's switch off sometimes they tell you it's not reachable but in the case of God it is not so Every woman, every mother, every woman must be a woman of prayer. 
And that is why I have always said, if you hate prayer as a young girl, when you grow up and becomes a mother, certainly you become a useless mother because you don't have the etiquette of how to get heaven's connection when there are challenges. You can, you can, you, I mean, you, you can put on your wig and you pass and nobody will notice you. You can put on your clothes and you pass and nobody notice you. You can put on your shoe, do your makeup and you pass and nobody notice you. But you cannot be a woman who has heaven as his connection. The grace of God upon your life makes people to respect you. And that is the reason why you must know that today every man is in search of a woman of virtue. A woman of virtue. A woman of value. I've told you, nobody throws away diamonds. Nobody throws away gold. Nobody throws away things you treasure. When you are a woman who contact heaven, when situations always come, your husband will always respect you. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. If I may ask, what is a prayerless woman doing in marriage? A woman cannot pray. Why is she doing marriage? Why is she looking for a marriage? Nothing. Huh? Nothing. A woman who cannot pray. Why is she looking for a marriage? Why is she doing marriage? A woman who cannot cook. Why are you giving your hand for a ring to enter? You say, I do. Where you know you cannot cook? What are you doing, marriage? Marriage is not for you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Right, don't stop. There are women who cannot cook six cups of rice because it's too much. They were not trained to. They only know how to cook one, two. After which, uh -uh, if it's much, no, they can't. They end up at Izo, Idome. What will such a woman be doing in marriage? The woman who do what? Contacts heaven. Mm. The value of a woman is not in her makeup, but her network. Her network. Get this very, very clear. Get this very, very clear. You know, there's something I love about God. Let me say this. Marriage is the only institution. Marriage is the only institution. They give you a certificate. Certificate before you start learning. Marriage is the only institution. They give you a certificate before you enter. Every other institution. What happened? You learn, mm -hmm. you graduate, they give you one certificate. But marriage is different. And because many of us do not know, that is why very many women today abuse marriage. We just watch some clips from, our, from the drama a while ago. A lot of women, they abuse marriage. Now, let me expose some secrets, sir. The Bible says something in Ephesians chapter 5, in verse number 22. Who wants to read for all? Huh? A very fast reader. Who is reading? A very fast reader. Ephesians chapter 5, verse number 22. Wives. Wives. Uh -huh. Submit yourselves. Uh huh. Unto your own husband, not to all men. Sit down. God bless you. Wives, submit yourself 
unto your own what? Husband. Not to all men. He said, look at that woman. She's not submissive. How can she be submissive to you? Are you the husband? You are only entitled to submit. You can respect all men. Respect is honor. But submission is all correct. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I don't sir. And that is why I have always said it. Don't daddy me. Don't call me daddy if you cannot daddy the man who puts you at home. I don't you are sir. a hypocrite. I don't the Bible says, Wives, be submissive unto your own husbands. husbands. Not to all men. Daddy, 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 daddy. Hey, shut up. Keep quiet. When you see your husband, you start mentioning his name. Papa David. Papa Goliath. What are you doing in marriage? Who sent you marriage? Who? We are looking at the woman who contacts heaven. Respect is honor. Submission is all correct, sir. Only your own husband deserves submission. <laughs> there are so many women who think that submission comes through money. There are women, I pray you have money, but I still pray that God will give you the grace to still be submissive to your husband even when money comes. Some of you are humble now, probably because you have not touched money. There are women, I have seen women, who buy cars for their husband, and yet there is peace. I have seen women who build house. They just build a house and tell the husband, say, darling, let's move to this apartment. And yet you will not even know that they are the owner of the house. Yes. But there are some, even on the man's birthday, what do you buy for your husband? On his birthday, bosses, singlet. Then you start making noise. After all I have done for you, what have you done? The singlet. The boss has only buy. Now be after all I have done for you. Oh God, pull a singlet. Make you give her, make she carry go. The woman who contacts heaven. Your husband opened a shop for you. She opened a business for you. Every time, shop, 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 shop. Every time, no time for the man again. No time for the family. Even sometimes when the man is coming, he meets men. He sees some men, some boys, in your shop, discussing. And the man calls you as a husband and says, My wife, ah, who are these people? Ah, uh huh. Any problem? They are my customer. Uh -huh. Do you have a problem with that? Brah. Eh? Oh God, let me advise you. Let me advise you. If you come across something like that, close that shop. So that your, your wife can make him. Oh! The Bible says something about the woman who was caught in an adultery. I will not go into all of that. I will leave that for another day. The woman who contacts heaven is a prayerful woman. Is a prayerful word, woman. In Second Kings, I will round up with this. But listen, in Second Kings chapter six, the Bible talks about. Let's read it. Let's read. Let's read. Let's read. Second Kings chapter 6. In Second Kings, where are the Bible scholars? Chapter 6, in verse number 29. So, we did what? Bread my son and did eat him. And I said 
unto her the next day. Give thy son that we may eat him. And she had he her son. When you don't know what to do as a woman who contact heaven with the way Nigeria is going now somebody was telling me he said man of God you know what is beating me holo I said you have not told me he said most of the hotels in town go there and see married women married women I said eh, it has come to that these women were faced with famine. Hunger was in the land. And they have no other option. They did not go out to look for work. They did not go out to source how they'll be able to feed their children. I wonder what they were living for. The result, they come to get, put their heads together and says, let us beginning to make use and the Bible said the first day they come into agreement and he said let us begin to eat their children not be my own and that day one brought out our own imagining this is the highest wickedness in the highest order your own son you carried him I wonder how she did it. She sliced it. You know how you slice fish? Lama. They sliced. They washed. Put inside the pot and cover. Set, engage fire on it. And the thing started boiling. They went out there, get pepper, get tomatoes, get maggi get onion spice it all cook at the end of it all what happened they sat down got justly and beginning to eat may that not be your portion in jesus name amen when situation was bad one will expect them like Esther did, if I perish, I perish. Like Hagar did, I will not behold the death of my son. Instead, these ones, they engage themselves. They, see, they are even possessed with the spirit of gluttony. The Bible says, that same day, that same day, they finished everything. Because read the Bible, it said, the next day, is that not what you have in your scripture? The next day, I ask this woman now to bring her own. She now hid it. Now, I want to leave you with this question. Where were their husband when they were doing all these things? Where were their husband? Where was the man of the house? There are women who are in charge, who are in control because of the little cash. Their husband have no say whatsoever. I have said it before, I will round up with it. There are women who use this sex to punish their husband. You will come and meet me. I think it's rainy season now. God will punish you and devil will send you to me. Then I will deal with you. I have said any woman who uses says as a weapon to punish the husband is what where was the husband the woman who committed adultery where was the man when they were they were about to stone the woman are you not interrupting the man from the scene My teacher will always say, some women are born wicked. I pray God Almighty for the singles in the house. May you not have any contact. May your network not carry you to a woman 
who cannot contact heaven when she is faced with challenges in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. People who visit Abali's home, they are majority of women because they cannot pray. They cannot. They move from one native doctor. At the end, sometimes the native doctor bring them to the house and marry them. Because of so much charm, he will give them. The native daughter will now begin to develop interest and put many at home. They become second, third, fourth, five, six, ten wives. The woman who contacts heaven learned today that it's not just all about your manicure. It is not just all about your dressing. I am not saying you should not dress. But you should know how to face challenges. Look at the woman, the Zarafat, the, the woman of Zarafat. When she was faced, she addressed her issue in the rightful way by contacting what? Heaven. I have told us this time without a number. The time has come. When you as a woman, you get up at the middle of the night, you take up anointing oil in your hand. You go straight to your children where they are sleeping and beginning to reject any of those unstrange characters in them. Sometimes when you are praying, the child will open his eyes and say that mommy is praying for me. That is the woman who contacts heaven. Stand to your feet.